Hey. <laughs> So we're going to start the session on path planning now. Uh, and our first talk will be by Jorge, telling us how to make D star light, or rather A star faster than D star light. OK, so um, exactly. So I'm here to tell you about this very small and beautiful contribution, in my opinion. Um, uh, and uh, I'm going to explain why it's small and why it's beautiful. But, but one of the reasons why I think it's beautiful is because it's really simple. OK, so I'm going to go on. Uh, the setting is the following. We want to do just pathfinding in a setting in which we, uh, the, the terrain is partially known initially. So you might not have any idea where the obstacles are, okay? And you need to find your way between an initial position and an, and an end position. Uh, that's what uh, these uh, things uh, used to do when they, when they have to move from one place to another. Although these, the, the, the actual algorithm that's, uh, algorithms that are used in these the devices are not exactly the ones that I'm going to show you now, but are based at least on some of the, the algorithms I'm going to show. So that's why I think it, this is interesting, because uh, we're going to propose this very simple algorithm, which uh, has the potential of being used in other robotics applications. Okay. So what if, we, if you want to do planning, path planning, between two locations, you don't know what, what's, what the environment looks like? Uh, you can just use a star using this, uh, what is called the free space assumption. You just assume that there's no obstacles, OK? You plan your path, and you can, you can, uh, you can follow that path until, until you can't follow it anymore. Okay, and you can do that with any kind of search algorithm. So, so a gener generic solution would be just do search uh, that results in a path, okay? Then you move through the path. Whenever an unknown obstacle is seen, you will change your search graph, you update your search graph, and then if replanning is, nee is needed, really, you will go back to the search uh, part, and you, you will replan, okay? And the difference between different algorithms is whether or not they will use uh, uh, the, some, of the, some of the information they gather during the first uh, uh, step number one for the next uh, search. Okay, uh, so if you you could apply this to A star, and A star would be just forward A star instead of just generic search, and and that's it. Okay, you can do that, and that that's called repeated forward A star. Very simple. Okay, nothing nothing really special there. Uh, you could use uh, adaptive A star. Okay, adaptive A star is a is is a, a is a version of of. Uh, a star, I would say, that the, that the only difference between A star and adaptive A star is this heuristic update, okay? So via updating the heuristic, you use information that you've gathered during your first search in your second search, and, and so on and so forth, okay? Okay, uh, and another option would be something like called D star light, okay? D star light is a very, uh, it's a simpler version of the D, D star algorithm. Uh, D star is already a very complicated algorithm to understand. Uh, if uh, if there's robotics people here, I'm sure you've you've tried to read the D star paper, and it's really hard to go to to get through that. Uh, D star light is a still much more interesting. I mean, much more simple than than uh, D star, uh, but still more. I would say it's not something that you know an undergrad would understand right after the A star class. Okay, so optimized dynamic. So I would I would label this as D star light is something like a dynamic version of uh, backward A star. Okay, uh, actually it is uh, uh, based on the uh, long life planning A star, which is a beautiful version of A star. So I, I like D star, but it's still a little bit more complicated than A star. Okay, and so so that's it. Okay, so. Observations that motivate this work. Uh, backward and forward A star, both of them should be the same in average performance in path planning is the, is, if, if the map is known, okay? But it turns out that the light, D star light, uh, if and if the tie breaking rules are the same, okay? But it turns out that D star light, just for performance reasons, uh, does a backward search, as I just told you, uh, but breaks tie toward, ties towards states that have lower G value. Okay, rather than higher G values. So for those familiar with, it, with A star, breaking ties towards higher G values is what gives you usually better results. So if you, if you compare, if the map here is completely known, for example, and you don't do, do D, D star, you will see that those are the ex, uh, states expanded by D star, and these are the, the states expanded by A star. Okay? So at least for that, for that simple case of the very first search, it 
turn, it seems that at, in some cases, A star might, might seems more focused than this D star. And this is what motivates the question. Is it possible to uh, sort of uh, exploit this and, and continue doing better? Uh, it, this is, A star would do better in the first step, but it turns out that you know, now the domain may change. It may be the case that I didn't know that that was an obstacle. Can I? Can we uh, uh, keep on keep on using this fact that a star at some t at some point is better, okay, and do better, you know, in average, in the average. So uh, it turns out that we can, and that we can with a very simple modification of a star, which is called multipath adap adaptive a star. It borrows. So the the reason why the contribution is small is because it's borrowing an idea of an, an algorithm that already exists. Okay, so it's not really proposing anything uh, completely. I mean, it's not really proposing something new, but uh, and and it's not really faster. So if I I could stop here, you could keep me off. But but this is what was really good. Uh, it outperforms C star light, just as tree tree adaptive A star. But it's a very simple modification of A star. I'm gonna try to convince you that it's really extremely simple. Uh, it's simpler to understand and implement than D star light. Simple to understand and implement than tree adaptive A star. Probably optimal, like uh, like all these algorithms. It's oh, it's missing something there. Uh, it's up. Uh, it's oh yeah no. Nothing is missing there. Okay. So what's the idea behind tree adaptive A star? It's simple. Uh, you are going to try to remember uh, the path that leads you, uh, that, that uh, was computed in the first search. So here, imagine that these, these uh, lighter uh, gray uh, 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 cells are obstacles that you, you still haven't observed. Okay, so your search is going to go that way, but then you move, and then you'll you'll find that your path was was uh, is blocked, and you cannot follow it anymore. Okay, you continue, but you're going to keep this. You're going to keep this this uh, this path in in memory. Uh, here, you're also going to keep this one, and then you go on. And the the advantage that advantage that this has is that presumably here, you know, these are obstacles. So you're going to end up moving up, then then down, and eventually you're gonna you're going to once you get here, you're going to find this, this uh, you're going to do an A star search that's going to find this path, and you have nothing else to do uh, at, at some point, okay? So the, the, the thing you, 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 you're going to uh, remember from your previous search is basically these paths, okay? So um, it's based on, this is based on A star, and just, this slide is just to, it's not for you to read. It's just to, uh, because I'm using uh, the, the goal condition, it's going to be a procedure, and I'm going to redefine the goal condition for A star. And usually the goal condition is that just you, you're get, you get to the goal, but I'm going to redefine that. So, okay, so what's, this is repeated A star. This is just replanning with A star, okay? This is the very first version. I'm not going to, there's no need to read this again, because uh, I'm going to show you the difference. And this is a Adaptive A star. I told you Adaptive A star is this algorithm that will learn a heuristic after the first search. Okay. The only thing that a Adaptive A star adds is this right here. So uh, very simple. That's why it's a very simple modification. We're going to do another modification, and this has to do with trying to remember, you know, where you have to go. I mean, uh, rem remember these paths. But that's something that's already done. Even in repeated A star, when you construct a path. You have to set up some pointers. The pointers, basically, you're going you're gonna to construct the, the path you have to follow from the back pointers in the A star search. Okay? So that's something that's already done. Our algorithm simply changes the uh, goal condition in order to detect uh, a state that has, previous, uh, has been uh, expanded before by a previous search. And if that's the case, we already, uh, and it's, it's, sorry, it detects a state as part of a path that was found in a previous uh, search, and then proves that this path is still optimal. Okay? And the way it does it is by using this. We can, I think I have to go faster now, so I'm gonna, not going to justify that. Uh, but this is the only change. So, so the change from repeated uh, uh, is is almost as simple as the change that adaptive A star proposed to, and, uh, to A star. Okay, so uh, two theorems, consistent preservation and optimality. Uh, these are theorems that are important. I'm, I'm going to go through more quickly now. And uh, we did an experimental evaluation. I would have stopped there because, you know, uh, it's already 
Tree Adaptive A-Star had already uh, been doing some of the same things, and we knew that Tree Adaptive A-Star was good, but Tree Adaptive A-Star is more complicated. I'm not gonna show you, but, uh, but, but it is, believe me. Okay, so we, we first we evalu evaluated in the same set setting as uh, the, in the D-Star light paper, and what they do there is uh, use uh, uh, these kind of grids, small grids actually, with, uh, with this percentage of obstacles. So that initially, uh, you don't know these obstacles. You, know, you don't know where they are, okay? And, and this table shows performance uh, ratios with respect to repeated A-star. So that's why repeated A-star gets one. And uh, getting more is bad and getting less is better. And uh, as you can see, the star light is not just that different from, from repeated A-star, but alg algorithm gets, uh, uh, does the job in half of the time. Okay, and I can go, I can explain more if you want later. Okay, larger grids. So uh, the second setting was trying try the same kind of experiments in larger grids, and there we get even even better speed ups. Uh, these are just uh, uh, these are uh, this is D star only D star against uh, uh, multipath adaptive A star. This time with uh, with larger grids, and and here's the speed up uh, that we get essentially. Okay. Uh, and then uh, what we wanted to do is try this in, in a more realistic environment. So we, we, uh, what we did was evaluate this in, in room maps. So the, uh, here the, the, uh, the algorithm would know the map of the room map initially, but wouldn't know exactly where additional obstacles would be, okay? And uh, same again, we, we get, uh, and, and we used the room maps and Warcraft uh, uh, and, and maps from, from a game, okay? They were all taken from uh, Nathan's uh, start event uh, uh, repository, and still we get uh, benefits, okay? Uh, and then we tried Maces, so we, we wanted to try with every possible, you know, kind of uh, pathfinding benchmark out there, and uh, it turned out that here uh, we got our first bad result. Actually. So uh, comparing to these star light, uh, we don't do as well in 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 uh, in, uh, in Maces, okay. And uh, but but then we tried to see what was the underlying reason behind this, and and we started removing some of the obstacles in the maze. So if you remove only one percent of the walls, we already go a little bit higher than these star. I mean, go, that, uh, do a little bit better. If you if you remove more blocks, then then we do even better, okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, and this is the, the sad part of it. Oh, I have to go? Okay. No, as I said before, it's not really better than, than Tree Adaptive A star in terms of time, okay? So the only thing we've gained in this, uh, in, in this, uh, 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 in this work was basically simplicity, okay? And we have an algorithm that still uh, is doing better than this star light. It does, that's encouraging because, uh, and, and I think I already went to the summary. So that's encouraging because there are many, many algorithms out there that, that are based on DSTAR that are actually used in very interesting applications. And we, can, we think that we actually can save the brains of many people trying to implement these, these uh, algorithms and, and do something much more simpler than an undergrad can understand after the first AI a start class. Okay. And thanks. So just another thing that you might want to think about comparing to possibly is, I think at Sox last year, there was an algorithm called FRIT um, that had to deal with reconnecting right. to the ideal tree. And it sounds very similar to what you're building and storing with those paths. So yeah, so, and, and, and that's interesting because uh, what, what actually that algorithm does is, is ha it has this, this, this tree that, that is sort of, sort of like all possible paths that go through to the goal, right? And, uh, and uh, that's something easy to do when you when the when the when the map is not known, when the map when you know the map and you don't know exactly where some additional obstacles could be, uh, then you can use some other tools that actually build those trees, like uh, compressed path, path databases by you know Adi has done that. And yeah, I forgot to say that, and and uh, I, I it would be really interesting to accommodate this and use more more of the stuff that. that that's out there, and, and there's something else I didn't mention. Uh, this this algorithm, just as it is, doesn't work with uh, dynamic uh, maps. Whether so, so if a, an obstacle disappears or a part of the map disappears, this algorithm uh, is not is not for that kind of uh, problems. Uh, this star is 
works for that kind of problems. But well, we're working on extensions, and I think we, we are almost there.